Okay, we're just about ready for the tip-off. You've heard the opening game ceremonies, hopefully over the microphone. We'll give you more information as we go along. Tip is up, controlled by Xavier Hill of Hazen. Feeds underneath to, oh man, what a play. Ryan Morrison lays it in, and just like that, Hazen's up two to nothing. Here comes Peoples. Peoples, number 11, Hudson Lace, gets it over to number 20, Camden Strong, back out on top to Phil Cochran. Over on the wing, guided by Ryan Morrison. That's Crazy Harrison. Back over here on the left wing to Hudson Mace. Driving all around to the opposite court. Hands it off to 13. People's looking for penetration. Can't get it in. Against Hazen's man-to-man -man defense. There's how much a steal by Morrison. Morrison got a mismatch on number five. They won't take him inside. Here goes number 11. Down left. Oh, it's taken away by Sully with Flam. Hands it off to Xavier Hill. Here comes Hazen. They got numbers. Ryan Morrison, left-hand layup. Lays it in. Hazen on top. Four to nothing. Hazen's defense picks right up where it left off last year. So here comes Peoples, knowing they're going to face a lot of pressure. Number 11, Hudson Mace out on top. Kick it over to Kale Cochran. Cochran over to Strong. Strong's looking. Tries to go inside, knocked away by Morrison. Oh, Morrison runs in. We get a blocking foul, I believe. Yes. And that is called on number 20, Camden Strong. So Ryan Morrison, Hazen's big man underneath, came up with the ball. He was taken off down court. And he got fouled on the way, so he's going to inbound it. Peoples looks like they're not trying to match up man to man. Here comes Xavier Hill. Xavier Hill, Aaron Hill expects a lot out of him this year. Sully drives underneath, but he's court. Uh, oh! Gabe Mitchell just missed the layup, went off his palm, but a nice play by Hazen. Here comes PA. He gives it over the timeline. Hudson Mays hands it off to uh, Cochran. Back over here to Strong. Strong tried to go inside, knocked away by Gabe Mitchell. Picked up by Brendan Moody. Brendan Moody, oh, tried to go underneath to Morrison. Right. Couldn't quite do it, but Hazen forcing the tempo. They've had four attempts at the basket, and they've all been layups so far. And two for four on those. And here comes Peoples. Hazen picking them up right at the half-court circle. Man to man. Talking over here on the left wing. Back out on top. Wow, long shot there by Crazy Harrison. We got a whistle and a foul. And that foul is going to be on uh, Gabe Mitchard, his first. Team's first. So people can win down it underneath their own basket. Hazen will be looking to switch on the plays here. They try to get it inside. They go over here in the corner to Hudson Mace. Back out on top. Gail Cochran. Oh, and threw it out of bounds. Part of the reason he threw it out of bounds is Hazen's relentless pressure. And they'll face that all night long. So Hazen up on top, four to nothing. We're just underway here. The second game of the Dave Morse Classic, eighth annual Dave Morse Classic. Brendan Moody drives around down the lane, jump stop, puts it up, no good. Rebound bought, fought for, knocked out of bounds by Morrison. Nice drive there by Brendan Moody. So PA walking it up again. Hudson Mace, the point guard, guarded by Sully Laflamme, goes right, picked up by Morrison, I mean uh, Xavier Hill. Out on top, Camden Cochran, Brendan Moody right on him, tough, right on him, ah, five second call, good defense there by Moody, and actually good team defense, nobody was open to pass it to, he got a five second call for not advancing the ball. So Morrison inbounds it. Xavier Hill hands it off to Sully Laflamme. Laflamme comes left, goes inside to Xavier Hill. Left hand up and in. Xavier Hill posted, and that is going to be there all night. So just underway, just three minutes into the game, and Hazen's up six to nothing. Peoples with just one shot at the basket so far. Kale Cochran over here to Camden Strong. Back to Cochran, comes left, puts it over here to Mace. Mace fakes right, goes left, steps back, puts it up, and no good off the rim. Rebound by Xavier Hill, and we're off to the races. Here comes Hazen. They got numbers over on the right to Mitchard. Mitchard stops, pops, puts it up, and it's, oh, they call him for a travel. <coughs> wow, they got a break there. Timeout, People's Academy. We got 4.56 left here in the first quarter, and Hazen's on top, six to nothing. Now, Coach Aaron Hill, he's optimistic about this year's squad, but he knows that he has some big shoes to fill after losing Tyler Revard, Lincoln Mitchard, and Jaden Baker to graduation. 
But as always with the Hazen program, he has players ready to step in. He also returns, though, a good core group from last year, and Xavier Hill, Gabe and Morgan Mitchard, Brendan Moody, Ryan Morrison, Sully LaFlamme. So the Hazen program, you know, it's something that we like to say. We don't rebuild. We just reload. We'll see what happens. But the Hazen schedule is tough, though. And uh, Coach Aaron Hill likes that because they'll play Spalding. They'll play Montpelier. They'll play uh, uh, Linden. Some of those D2 schools, of course, they'll play Lamoille. Um, we'll see what happens. Get ready for the playoffs. But that's a long ways down the road. We're just starting tonight. Here comes Peoples. This is Ryan uh, Hudson Mace. Oh, he drives all the way around, puts it up, and he's going to get fouled by, I believe, Brendan Moody. <clears throat> That's Brendan Moody's first foul. And that's the team's second. So it's Hudson Mace to the line. So Morgan Mitchard comes off the bench, replacing his brother, Gabriel. So Mace makes the first one. Second one's on its way, and that goes through. He's got a sub in for Peoples now. It's Blair Whitney. <coughs> Hazen's going to inbound it, and let's see, Hayes, uh, Lamoille, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, Peoples still playing man-to-man. -man. Hands it off to Xavier Hill, drives baseline, feeds it underneath to Mitchard. Back out, Brendan Moody with a long three and nails it. Brendan Moody picking right up where he left off last year. That makes a score 9-2 to two in favor of Hazen. Peoples with the ball now. Out on top is Blair Whitney. Guarded, by, oh, switched over there by Morgan. Made him pick up his dribble. Nice fake there. Puts the ball up and bang. That's Frazee Harrison. Nice move there. A little up fake. Drove the lane. Put it in. So here comes Hazen. Travis Hill hands it off to Sully Laflamme. Hill drives. Jump stop there along the baselines. Morgan Mitchard lays it in. We got a whistle and a foul. <laughs> So Hazen with that penetration from the top of the key and their forwards running on the baseline. They're getting some back doors in there. Getting some good opportunities. In the game now for Hazen is number 22 and that is Fenton Meyer. And Fenton Meyer, he sat out last year but came back this year. Boy, Coach Aaron Hill's glad to see him back. Mitchard, first one up, it's good. Three point play there by Morgan Mitchard. But Fenton Meyer gives him some good strength right off the bench. And he's got a lot of length in there. He's good size. So PA down 12 to four. They bring it up over half court. Hudson Mace guarded by Sully LaFlamme. Oh, fakes right, goes left, puts it up off the back rim. Rebound controlled by Moody. Moody's trying to come down court and he is sandwiched. Knocked down, so it's gonna be a foul on Peoples. That foul is on Quinn Kelp. So here comes Xavier Hill, Brendan Moody. Back out to Xavier Hill, long NBA three point off the front of the rim, corralled out there by Peoples, hands it off. <clears throat> here comes Dylan Knight who's in the game for PA, hands it off to Hudson Mace. Mace comes left, guarded by Laflamme. Trying to go right, oh, Morgan Mitchard steps out. Oh, they should, offensive. Yeah, green 12 with an offensive foul. Morgan Mitchard stepped out there and the guy rolled it, put his elbow out like that and you can't do that. You can't do that. <coughs> so here comes Hazen Ball. People's coach better be careful. Xavier Hill hands it off to Meyer. Meyer back out to Hill. Over here on the right wing to Sully. Hands it off to Hill. Hill fakes right, left. Goes the baseline, backs it back out. Oh, inside to Fenton Meyer. Oh, couldn't control it. Knocked out of bounds there. Number five, um, Frazee Harrison got a hand on it, and it went off of Fenton Meyer. Nice play, though. Nice look. Just couldn't quite corral it. So here comes Hudson Mace, their point guard. So there's a screen set. Sully LaFlam picks him up. Number Dylan Knight, oh, in and out with a three-pointer. Here comes Xavier Hill. Xavier Hill running, oh, over there to Sully LaFlamme. 
Puts it up, no good. Whoa, a little contact in there both times, but no call. And here comes PA. Here comes Mace. Mace drives down the lane. He puts it up. Now they're going to call a foul, a block. Let's see who that foul is going to be on. That foul is going to be on Fenton Meyer, his first. And that is the team's third with 2.35 left to go here in the first quarter. PA with four fouls. Hazen on top, 12 to 4. Hudson Mays front rims it. Looking to make the second one here to pull him to within seven. It's up and around, drops in. Subs in the game. Gabe Mitchard's in. Comes in for Fenton Meyer. And Kale Cochran comes back in. So here comes Xavier Hill, brings it to the middle. PA still playing man-to-man, -man, hands it off to LaFlam. LaFlam drives left around the key. Ooh, almost carried it, stopped. Little jump shot in the lane, right at the elbow. Sully LaFlam, if they give him that all night, he will score 30. 14 to five, Hazen on top. PA slowing it down in the half court, trying to penetrate. Mace puts it up, no good, corralled in there by Sully LaFlam, gets it quickly to Hill, Hill up to Brendan Moody, hands it off to Mitchard, Mitchard fakes, puts it up, can't make it to go, gets a rebound, puts that up, and got that to go with a foul. Finally, Gabriel Mitchard gets one to drop in there, and he drew the foul. That foul is on Frazee Harrison. So Gabriel Mitchard looking to put him up by a dozen here. Sets, puts it up, and it's good. 17 to five now with exactly two minutes left to go here in the first quarter. So Hudson Mace brings it up towards the left wing, guided by Sully Laflamme. Laflamme doing a nice job out there. Over there, the Blair Whitney. <coughs> out on top, Harrison in the corner. Back on top to Cochran, over there to Mace. Hazen with their tight, oh, picked up his dribble, they got him trapped. Almost a steal, they get it inside, no good. Rebound off of Gabe Mitchard's head. The ball missed the rebound. So it was a mistiming thing. In the game now, we have number 42, Mason Wells for Peoples. And Ryan Morrison comes back in. He's replacing Morgan Mitchard. Morgan playing some pretty good defense there, also had a three-point play. So Hazen with some good size in there. Oh, nice backdoor play by PA. <clears throat> and Dylan Knight scores. Xavier Hill comes down the lane, lays it right up and in, right back, just like that. They get it inside to Mason Wells. Mason can shoot, they gotta be careful. Blair Whitney out here on top to Cochran. Cochran goes right, tries to get it inside, picked off. Sully Laflamme, he's gonna go in all the way. Lays it up over the center, that's good. Less than a minute to go, Hazen on top, 21 to seven. Hazen's defense really taking its toll right now. Dylan Knight goes right around Brendan Moody, but picked up there by Gabe Mitchard. Shot, no good, rebound all Hazen, corralled by Morrison. Here comes Air, uh, Xavier Hill all the way, lays it up, they couldn't stop him. 23 to seven. Hazen on top, half a minute to go here. Peoples walking it up. There goes Mace down the lane, throws up a Hail Mary, no good. Ryan Morrison fighting for the rebound, picked off there by Blair Whitney underneath. Fires it, no good. Rebound there, Morrison got it. Oh, they're gonna call a jump ball, I believe. Yep, they are. So jump ball's gonna be Peoples' ball with the ball underneath their basket. 14 and a half seconds left, so they're gonna go for a shot here. They're already trailing 23 to seven. Whitney to inbound it, there's a screen. Let's see, they get it out on top. Dylan Knight, looking, looking, gets it over there to Cochran. Cochran trying to penetrate, stops, picks up his dribble, hands it off to Mason Wells. They go inside, there's a shot by Peoples, and it's good! Right at the buzzer, number 25, Dylan Knight. But that's the end of the first quarter, and your score is Hazen, 23, and Peoples, nine.
Now, don't forget our sponsors for tonight's game are Buffalo Mountain Power Sports at 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And Green Mountain Tech and Career Center at www.gmtcc. Then it's insd.org. Jumpstart your future. So a good, good first quarter to open the season for Hazen here as they run out to a 23 to seven, uh, 23 to nine lead. Their inside game's holding on, but they're uh, getting a lot of layups underneath. They haven't taken only one or two outside shots. And if you give a team like Hazen inside layups all night long, you're gonna have a long night. So Hazen sends out Gabe Mitchard, Ryan Morrison, Sully Laflamme, Xavier Hill, and Jameson Lemaire. <coughs> It'll be Hazen's ball. Gabe Mitchard to inbound it. Start the second quarter here. And remember, this is the second game of the Dave Morse Classic. The championship and the consolation games will be held on Friday night right back here at Hazen. So Xavier Hill brings it up. Hazen, uh, people still in a man-to-man. -man. Oh, almost stolen. Sully Laflamme recovers it. Almost stolen by Cochran. Sully goes left. Oh, Cochran got a hand in there again. But they got him for a foul that time. And he knew it. He knew it. He nodded. No problem. But boy, I'll tell you what, he's got quick hands. He's had his hand on that ball ever since Hazen got it this quarter. So Laflamme's going to inbound it. Xavier Hill gets it over to Gabe Mitchard. To Lemaire in the corner. Lemaire comes right. Drives her down the lane, stops, gives it to Morrison. Xavier Hill stops, pops, three-pointer on the way off the side of the rim. No good, rebound. Oh, corralled by Gabe Mitchard. He's going to go in, puts it up. He's fouled. Oh, almost got a Hail Mary shot to go. Good ball fake there by Gabe Mitchard. Knew he was going to get hit and threw it up, and it just went off the front of the rim. So that's PA's second foul of the quarter already. And don't forget, once the team gets five fouls, the other team shoots two the rest of the quarter. New rule this year. Mitchard puts it in, gets Gabriel Mitchard. Mitchard with his second one. And that's good, 25 to nine now. He's up by 16 here early in the second quarter. So here comes Dylan Knight. Oh, threw it behind. Blair Whitney. So it's going to be Hazen's ball. People starting to react a little bit to Hazen's pressure. They're a little nervous now. Hazen with the trademark man-to-man -man defense. Xavier Hill stops, pops, puts it up. Elbow off the front of the rim. Rebound by Mitchard again. Goes in tight, and he gets it. Gabriel Mitchard is a horse on the boards tonight. Gabriel Mitchard, a nose for the ball, gives him a 27-9 lead right now. Cochran out on the right ring, guarded by Lemaire. Drives baseline, tries to go underneath. Mason Wells puts it up, no good. Rebound, another rebound by Gabe Mitchard. It's knocked out of bounds by PA, but Gabe Mitchard exerting himself in there. Okay, here comes Xavier Hill. Hands it off to Mitchard. Over to Lemaire in the corner. Oh, Lemaire goes left baseline, stops, pops, puts it up, no good. Rebound, follow. They're going to call Ryan Morrison over the back. Yeah, Ryan Morrison. You know, coaches don't like fouls, but you don't mind a foul like that on the offensive end. Your forward was aggressive going for the ball and rather than just sit back and let the other team get it. And if he gets a foul, well, he gets a foul. But they'll know he's there next time. So here's Blair Whitney, picked up by Xavier Hill. Fights through the screen. Back out on top, Dylan Knight, whoa, way off. Out of bounds. PA kid fell down, that's Cochran. Fenton Meyer comes in for Ryan Morrison. So PA is going to inbound underneath their basket. Looking to get it. Oh, almost picked off by Xavier Hill. Get it back to Dylan Knight. Knight guarded by Laflamme. Back out here on top. 
to Kale Cochran, guarded by Gabe Mitchard. Long shot there by Blair Whitney. PA looking to put up a lot of three-pointers, I guess, because they can't go inside very well. Picks up his dribble. Cochran over here to Dylan Knight, guided by Laflamme. Comes right, there's a screen. Oh, Mason Wells on a pick and roll, couldn't control it. Here comes Lamar, Lamar. Lamar, oh, to Mitchard, stops, pops, put, uh, stops, fakes, puts it in. Gave Mitchard, right place, right time. Knows how to play down there on the boxes. Here comes PA, Blair Whitney. Picked up by Fenton Meyer for a second on the switch. Guarded by Xavier Hill to get it over to Dylan Knight. Dylan Knight goes baseline. Trapped in there. Good help defense by Xavier Hill. Out on top to Mason Wells. Back over here to Cochran. Cochran backs it back out to reset. Over to Blair Whitney. Whitney over here to Camden Strong. Out on top to Dylan Knight. PA moving it around. Unable to find a lane inside. Mason Wells way out on top. Guarded by Meyer. He's going to go baseline. Stops. Blair Whitney tries to go baseline. He does. Puts it up. And it's good. Oh, kind of a reverse backhanded layup by Blair Whitney. Makes the score 29 to 11. Hazen quickly up court underneath Fenton Meyer. And within about three seconds, Hazen answers. <clears throat> you can't let up a bit. 31 11. Hazen up by 20. 431 left to go here in the second quarter. Here comes Blair Whitney, guarded by Xavier Hill. Over there to Camden Strong. Back over to Cochran, guarded by Gabe Mitchard. Tries to go right around the foul line. Goes aside, picked off by Xavier Hill. And we're going to have a dunk. Oh, Xavier Hill gets up and puts it home. He puts it down, brings the crowd to their feet. 4.07 left to go here in until halftime and Hazen up by 22, 33 to 11. <clears throat> and in case you're not used to hearing a strange voice, I'm John Lucier subbing for Lance Hall who couldn't be here tonight. Um, but he'll be back, he'll be back, don't worry. <laughs> Again, I want to just mention our sponsors. Well, we got a minute here for the broadcast. Uh, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And by Green Mountain Tech and Career Center at www.gmtcc.insd.org. Jumpstart your future. And boy, if anybody follows that Green Mountain Tech Center, let me tell you. They put some kids out into the work world, and they win a lot of contests, and their kids are known nationally. And uh, they have a tremendous program down there. So Hazen steps on the court now. <laughs> Let's see if they, uh, if they can settle back down after that dunk by Xavier Hill. They're all kind of giddy about that, but still got a lot of game left, and we know what happened in the first game. Lemoyle had a 25-point lead, ended up losing to Williamstown by one, so anything can happen high school basketball so pa is going to inbound it <clears throat> blair whitney will get it and hudson mace their point guards back in the game he's picked up by morgan mitchard in the game now here comes a screen wow big screen morgan mitchard just takes the ball right from oh, oh they're going to Wow, Morgan Mitchell just yanked the ball out of the people's player and headed down court. So it's going to be Hazen's ball underneath their own basket. Let's see what they got for a play. There it comes. Oh, Gabe missed the lit. Gets the rebound, though, and he's fouled. <laughs> That's uh, that foul. Ooh, that foul is on number 12. Quinn Kelp, that's his third, so Cochran comes in for him. And uh, whoa, whoa, a little, a little loud yell there by the number 12, a little frustration, said a word he shouldn't have. So that's a technical foul. So Xavier Hill's gonna shoot the technical. <coughs> Makes it, first one.
makes the second one. So now it's going to be Hazen's ball. So Fenton Meyer's going to inbound it. He's going to get it into Xavier Hill. Xavier Hill crosses midcourt. <coughs> Rings it over, hands it off to Morgan Mitchell down to Gabe. Gabe drives baseline, stops, pops, puts it up, left hand, and he got, oh, they called him for a travel. Shuffled his feet on the fake. But really, other than that, Gabe Mitchell's having his way. What he wants to do down on the baseline. So Blair Whitney's going to bring it up for PA right now. Walking it up. PA looking to slow it down. They're already trailed by 24. Blair goes left. He wants to stop. He pops, puts it up, and it's good. Blair Whitney at the left elbow. Puts a little jump shot in. Here comes Xavier Hill. Back out on top to Gabe Mitchard. Gabe. Oh, back toward to Xavier Hill. The defender turned his head for a second. That was the end of that. So that's 37-13 with about three minutes left to go here till halftime. Blair Whitney rings it, comes left. He wants that little jump shot again. Travels, puts into traffic, couldn't get it. Oh, Fenton Meyer with a big rebound. Gets it to Xavier Hill, up to Morgan Mitchard. Morgan gets it back out to Brendan Moody back into the game. Xavier Hill, long NBA three off the front of the rim. Rebound in there by Fenton Meyer. He couldn't get it to go. They're still wrestling. Oh, we got a whistle. And I think they're going to be a jump ball, I hope. Yeah. But Fenton Meyer and Morgan, Morgan Mitchard in there. And uh, boy, they are just fighting for rebounds. In now is Ryan Morrison for Gabe Mitchard. A well deserved rest for Gabe. Gabe played well, ran the court well, rebounded well. Okay, so here comes PA, two and a half minutes to go. They're down by 24, 37, 13. Blair Whitney guarded by Xavier Hill. Picked up now by Morrison, picks up his dribble. Oh, almost Blair Whitney out on top. PA almost traveled with that. Long, long three-pointer, no good by Hudson Mace. Here comes Brendan Moody, bounces it in to Morgan Mitchard. And he's still got two guys on him. Morgan Mitchard pivoted twice and put it up a little hook shot over the front of the rim and got it to go. So Hazen scoring a lot on layups. They're just running at will. Oh, no, no foul on that contact. Hudson Mays. That ball's out of bounds off of Peoples as Cochran threw it off of his own player. So in the game for Hazen now is Camden Lowengrath, number three, and he replaces Morgan Mitchell, who's probably just a little winded right now. But here comes Xavier Hill. Xavier Hill running the Hazen offense to perfection tonight. Drive, stops, pops, puts it up, no good back rim, rebound in there. But, oh, what a pass by Lowengraft to Ryan Morrison. Oh, they call him for an offensive foul. Oh, that's too bad because Camden Lowengraft just off the bench. Boy, he made a good no-look pass to Ryan Morrison. And Ryan did put that little elbow out just a little. Minute and a half left to go here till halftime. Hazen on top, 39-13. to 13. Hudson Mace bringing it up for Peoples. Guarded by Xavier Hill, goes right, picked up there by Fenton Meyer on the switch, throws it away. Oh, lost it. Oh, Fenton Meyer hustling all over the place. Xavier Hill is tripped up. And that is going to be PA's fifth foul. So Xavier, I believe, will go and shoot two. So the new rule in effect five fouls in a quarter by a team. It's two shots for the other team, and at the end of each quarter, they erase them, and you start over. No one and ones this year. Xavier Hill, perfect from the line so far, three for three. So you know I probably just jinxed him. So Sully Laflamme comes in. Ryan Morrison goes out. Rounding in, 41-13 now. Hazen in control of this game. So Hudson Mace brings it up for PA. PA is having some trouble scoring with only 13 points in the entire half. Hazen's defense on the good switches. Good hands in there by Lohengraff. 
Gets it out to Whitney on top. Whitney backs up. Looking, looking, picks up his dribble low out on top. Gets it over here to Cochran. I mean, Camden Strong, excuse me. Way underneath. Oh. On the pass, Blair Whitney was fouled by Lowengrath. So PA is going to inbound it with 46 seconds left to go. Underneath their own basket. Looking to see if they can get a quick shot here. <coughs> Out on, out on the side to Hudson Mace. Out on top here to Kale Cochran. Camden Strong over to Whitney. Back to Cochran. To Mace. Mace fakes right, goes left. Oh, and they're going to call Fenton Meyer with a block. Aaron Hill explaining it to him. Says, you know, even though he didn't think he moved, but you can't do that. So Gabe Mitchett's going to come in now because that is... Uh, Fenton's second foul, and Aaron doesn't want him to get three. <clears throat> so they're going to try it again. Blair Whitney's going to inbound it underneath for Peoples. Oh, there goes Cochran underneath. Puts it up on the baseline around and out. No good. Rebound by Sully Laflamme. Oh, and they are going to call Camden Strong with a foul. And that's going to put Sully Laflamme to the line to shoot, too. And that is Camden Strong's third foul. Of course, Peoples with five. So Sully Laflamme's going to shoot two. Flamme with the first one around and out. I think that's their first miss, though, for the entire half. <clears throat> Sully with the second one, no good off the back rim. A little bit too much muscle there. So here comes Mace, PA looking for the last shot of the quarter probably. Brings it back out over to Blair Whitney, guided by Lowengraff. Out on top, Cochran, oh, all kinds of action. They're gonna call an offensive foul on Cochran, that's his third. But you don't shoot offensive fouls, so Hazen's gonna take the ball out of bounds with 10.6 seconds. In the game now is Seamus Burgess. And Nick Pierce for PA. Moody stops underneath. Sully LaFlamme, oh, they're going to call a foul on Seamus Burgess with 2.2 seconds to go. Hazen milking that clock right down. Some nice give and go plays there. So Sully, Sully see if he can, uh, yeah, nails that one. Sully Laflamme. Second one's on its way. Nice touch. Got both of them. So PA's going to inbound it. They try to go deep. Here comes a Hail Mary shot. It's on its way. Oh, no good off the side of the backboard. There's the buzzer. And at halftime, your Hazen Union Wildcats all over the Wolves from Peoples. 43 to 13. We'll be back at the beginning of the second half. Okay, the teams are taking the huddle here. We're just about ready to start the second half. Hazen on top, 43 to 13 in the eighth annual Dave Morris Classic. But I want to thank our sponsors again, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports at 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Tech and Career Center at www.gmtcc insd.org jumpstart your future and if anybody out there organization or individual would love to sponsor Hazen Union basketball this winter we'd love to have you just contact Elizabeth Rosano at HCTV at 802-472-6655 so it looks like it's going to be Hazen's ball to begin the second half here 
Hazen with a big defensive stop. I mean, for the entire first half, their defense was just tremendous. People's unable to get much penetration. So here we go, Xavier Hill hands it off to Brendan Moody, comes around to the foul line stop, pop off the glass. I'm not sure he was aiming for it, but it went in. Just like that, Hazen scores two points to begin the third quarter. Then here comes Mace, gets it over here. Whoa, gets it over here to Cochran, who almost traveled, guarded by Mitchard. Out on top to Mace again. Over to Blair Whitney, who came off the bench, played a lot in the first half. Back out on top to Cochran. Cochran looking for inside, but they aren't going to be able to go inside much on Hazen. Almost picked off there by Sully Laflamme, but Mace got it. Oh! Camden Strong zigged, and Mace thought he was going to zag, and he threw it right out of bounds, so it's going to be Hazen's ball. Gabe Mitchard, who had a good first half, strong on the boards. Gets it to Xavier Hill. Oh, has Sully back. Ryan Morrison underneath deep, lays it in. And that is a mismatch that if it was a close game, you'd see Hazen taking advantage of that the whole night. So over here we've got Blair Whitney guarded by Xavier. Oh, they, oh, no, no, no. Got a timeout. Oh, that's too bad. Somebody from Peoples. Apparently must have got hit in the face or something with his eye. Hope he didn't lose a contact lens because you'll never find it. So now we got the coach and referee conference over. Whitney gets it into Strong. Strong looking, tries to go underneath. He does, but picked off by Morrison. He feeds Xavier Hill, but Xavier Hill doesn't have numbers. Brings it back out over there to Mitchard. Mitchard on the side to Moody. They go, oh, they try to go inside to Morrison. But uh, Frazee Harrison got a hand on it, and tipped it up over, and PA came away with it. So here's Cochran for PA. Over to Whitney. Whitney looking, looking, looking. Oh, goes out on top. Almost picked off by Morrison to Mace. Hands it off to Cochran. Comes around the right elbow. I mean, that was Camden Strong, excuse me. Cochran back out on top. Off the back of the rim there by Frazee Harrison. No good. Rebound by Strong, though. Back out to Harrison. Almost knocked away and picked off by Ryan Morrison. Picked off that time by Xavier Hill. Here comes Hazen. They're going to look to run all night. Xavier Hill all oh, feeds. Wow. Oh, Behind the head feed by Xavier Hill to Ryan Morrison, and he got hacked on the way up. So he's going to go to the line to shoot two. Morrison, one of, one of Hazen's seniors, got a lot of action last year. Had a nice game down in Barry Auditorium in the finals and uh, got called for an offensive foul, if you remember right. First one's up. That's good. If you remember right, he got called for an offensive foul at Hazen. Um, would have pulled Hazen to within one, but tough break there. Rebound. Oh, boy. Oh. Now, I have an apology to make to Harrison, <coughs> Harrison Frazee. They had it wrong in the, um, cat in the cat, uh, program. They had Frazee Harrison, but it's Harrison Frazee, so I apologize to Harrison for that. But I have to go by what they give me in the program. But I'll get it right now, hopefully. <laughs> so here comes Hudson Mace. Oh, inbounds it inside. Dylan Knight, but it's picked off there. We go, oh, we got a travel on Ryan Morrison. So I want to thank my daughter, Janelle Germain, for pointing that out to me. She is pretty good at correcting me all my mistakes. So people still inbound it. 
Uh, whoa, three-pointer, no good. Rebound fought for. Dylan Knight gets the rebound. He's going to dribble, take Brendan Moody underneath, post him up, tries to go. Oh. They're going to call Brendan Moody for a foul. So play a little ragged right now. As both teams doing a lot of reaching and clutching. and Not real smooth basketball by either team, but sometimes it's hard when one team's up by 35, 48 to 13. PA to inbound it. Dylan Knight looking, gets it inside to Mace. Mace stops, reverse, off the glass, no good. Rebound boxed around. Here comes Xavier Hill. Brendan Moody going to go in for the layup. It's up and it's good. Brendan Moody on the fast break. Oh, we got a whistle, and and I believe it's Cale Cochran went down for a minute. He is uh, <clears throat> flexing that left wrist a little bit. So I didn't see what happened. Oh. Oh, all the power went off the clock. So we got a break in the action. <laughs> and that'll give me time to just talk about our spot. Oh, they're right back here. Good, good. I don't know who fixed it, but keep him around. So PA is going to inbound it. Blair Whitney gets it into Mace. Over here to Dylan Knight. PA slowing it down. Oh, they try to lob it into Mason Wells. It's no good off his tip, off the tip of his fingers. Goes out of bound, and Hazen's going to inbound it. Fenton Meyer is going to get it into Xavier Hill. Xavier just walking up. PA still playing man to man. Xavier goes underneath, brings it back out. Oh, has it picked off, but Moody taps it over to Xavier Hill. Put, puts it up to Gabe Mitchard, comes left, fakes, puts it up. Oh, and he got it to go. Gabe Mitchard. Boy, if you're guarding him, you want to be ready for that up fake because he's done it every single time. And he got that one to go, so he's going to go to the line to shoot one. And that foul is on number 23. That's Carter Giron in the game. Mitchard, around and out, no good. Rebound by Wells of PA. Gets it over to Mace. Mace is their point guard. He's worked hard all night long. He goes down the lane, stops. Oh, tried to go over to the other side, but Xavier Hill picks it off. Xavier Hill right down the lane, lays it up and good, right in traffic. Xavier Hill showing why he was part of the dream dozen last year for the state of Vermont. Player to watch, leading this team. They're up 54 to 13. Dylan Knight goes to Mason Wells, the left elbow, guarded by Fenton Meyer. Hands it off to Blair Whitney. Whitney trying to go back door, but has, loses control of it. Hazen getting the hand on those passes a lot. Blair Whitney picks it up, brings it back out. Goes on the side. Oh, nice lob pass. Oh, nice play. Nice lob pass from Giron to Knight. But here comes Hazen very quickly. Sully stops, brings it back out. Cross court, Brendan Moody. Brendan Moody was going to put it up, loses the handle on it. Picked off by Gabe Mitchard. Gabe Mitchard gets up off the floor and almost got the rebound. Moody missed the three-pointer, and here comes PA. Blair Whitney coming down the left wing. Stops, looks, waiting for everybody set up. Getting double teamed now. The defense now backs off. Out on top to Dylan Knight, over to Mason Wells. Wells out on top, guarded by Fenton Meyer. Oh, picked off there by Sully. Sully Laflamme goes in for a layup, lays it up and over. Nice touch over the front of the rim, 56-15. Time winding down here in the third quarter, about 3.20 left to go. Hazen with a very commanding lead and a good showing tonight. They're going to try to pick up right where they left off last year. Left wing over to Jerron. Jerron looks. Gets it to Mason Wells, guarded by Meyer. Over here to Knight. Knight comes off a screen, top of the key. Hesitates. Dribbles left, comes back right, stops. Feeds it underneath to Giron, guarded by Gabe Mitchard. Oh, picked off by Brendan Moody. He comes out of the pack. He's got players everywhere. Pisses it over, to, passes it over to uh, Xavier Hill. Hill lays it in. Hazen, that fast break is unstoppable. Mace goes right, try to jump shot, but it was knocked out of bounds by Mitchard. 
Now we have subs coming in for Hazen. We have uh, Camden Lowengrath coming in. Um, let me see who we got there. I can't see the number. Jason Jamison Lemaire and Morgan Mitchard. Peoples inbounded underneath their own basket. They get it inside to Mace. Oh, boy, that was almost an offensive foul right in front of the ref. But the referee figures that Hazen doesn't need it, I guess. Blair Whitney comes back behind the back, backs it back out. Gets it out on top. Scramble for the floor. Fenton Myers all over it. Oh, boy, gets it to Brendan Moody. Feeds Lemire. Oh, whoa. Got a... <laughs> Lemire was, oh, yeah, that's a, and that's actually the right call. I know the Hazen fans aren't too happy, but Lemire did foul, I mean, did travel before the foul. You could tell that. Even Aaron knew it. Yeah, that was the correct call. The referee's got it right. So Mace brings it up, gives a signal for a play. We're down to two minutes now. Hazen on top, 58 to 15. Mace goes down the lane, lays it up, spins it no good, rebound by Lowengrath. Longrath brings it out himself, hands it off to Moody. Moody stops, pops, three-pointer off the rim. No good. Re rebound by Jamison, and we got a foul on PA. That foul is on Blair Whitney, I believe, yes. That's his first, and that is the team's third. Hazen to inbound it. Morgan Mitchard gets it inside to Fenton Meyer, takes one dribble, shouldn't have put it on the floor. Gets it back to Morgan Mitchard. Way out to Brendan Moody, comes left, foul line. Morgan Mitchard drives the middle, puts it up, no good. Fenton Meyer with it, and he gets fouled. PA just no match underneath for Hazen's height and athleticism. Hazen having their way on the boards. So Fenton Meyer, senior, sat out last year, but back this year, and boy, he's already making his presence felt. And I love his aggressiveness. Boy, he's on the floor after the ball. First one's up, rattles around and drops. So Fenton Meyer with a point tonight. Makes it 59 to 15. Going to shoot a second one here. Second one is a little short. Easy. Oh, Fenton, he knew it. He knew it. He knew it. He wanted that ball, but he knew it. So, okay. So that's Hazen's uh, third foul. So they're still not shooting two yet. It's 128 left to go here in the quarter. PA with the ball. Dylan Knight gets it off to Blair Whitney. Comes right. Oh, a reach, a reach in there by Meyer, but didn't get called. Knocks the ball away, but recovered by PA. Dylan Knight backs up, picks up his dribble, gets it over here to Mace. Mace way cross court to Whitney. Whitney's going to fire it up, three-pointer, and it's good. Blair Whitney with a three-pointer for PA. Makes it 59 to 18. Over here to Moody. Moody looking, 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 comes right. Oh, and they call Mace for a foul. So we got 49 seconds left to go. And the score is 59 to 18, favor of the Wildcats. And Brendan Moody's going to go to the line to shoot two. Uh, yeah, shoot two because that's PA's fifth. First one's up. Oh, didn't drop. Didn't drop for him that time. Crowd getting on him a little bit. Second one's up. That one's good though. <laughs> That puts Hazen at an even 60 as we wind down the third quarter here. Here comes Mace, guarded by Lowengrath. They try to lob it in. Oh, they're going to call Morgan for over the back. They're going to call Morgan Mitchett for over the back, but that's only Hazen's fourth foul, so PA won't be shooting. They'll be inbounding underneath their basket. Whitney is going to get it in. Hazen, uh, PA sets up a play. They get it into Mace on the left wing. Goes baseline. Now they're going to call Lowengraf for a foul. And that will put, um, I believe, Mace to the line to shoot two. That's Hazen's fifth for the quarter. So Hazen went from two to five fouls in a heartbeat. And now PA shooting two.
First one's up and it's good by Mace. Second one's on its way and that's good. Nice touch there. So here comes Moody with about 35 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Lowengrath comes left. Over to Lemire. Lemire, Chris, oh, nice crossover dribble. Lazy. Oh, couldn't get it to go, though. Fenton Meyer on the boards against two or three people's players in there. And he went back up with it, and he got hammered. And that foul is on, I believe, Mason Wells, his second. So Fenton Meyer to shoot two. First one's up, and it's good. Second was on his way, back rims no good, rebound fought for, corralled in there, looks like we're gonna have a jump ball. Yeah, we're gonna have a jump ball, it'll be PA's ball. Jamison Lemaire and Whitney Blair. <clears throat> Okay, so here comes Mace. We wind down the third quarter. PA down by 41. Crossover dribble, picks it up, gives it to Mason Wells. Hands it off to Blair. Blair Whitney picks up his dribble, back out on top to Wells. Over here tonight, M Wells throws up a Hail Mary. It's no good. And that bell buzzer signifies the end of the third quarter, and your Wildcats completely in control of this one as they lead the People's Wolves 61 to 20. So I want to thank our sponsors again tonight at Buffalo Mountain po Power Sports at 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And again, Green Mountain Tech and Career Center, www.gmtcc.insd.org jumpstart your future <clears throat> and again if anybody is interested or any business and wants to hear their name up here and sponsor these young players playing basketball for HCTV just give Elizabeth Rosano a call at the HCTV office 802-472-6655 okay so I guess it's safe to say that Friday night it'll be Hazen in Williamstown in the championship of the Dave Morse Classic and Hazen and Williamstown are, they know each other well. They've met before with Williamstown winning once or twice and Hazen beating them once or twice. So, and they've met down to Barry, I don't know how many times and each one winning some. So they know each other well. So Hazen's going to inbound it. Morgan Mitchard to Lowengrath. We got, oh boy, we got some new players in there. Lowengrath. Gets it over to Lincoln Hill, who's a freshman. Lowengrath puts up a three-pointer off the side of the rim. No good. It goes out of bounds. And let me see. Who else we got in there for Hazen? Got to see some numbers here. Number two, Gavin Bell. So Hazen without a starter in the game. They're playing their man-to-man -man defense. Hazen, uh, people's trying to spread the court. They get it out on top. Oh. Harrison Frazee. Traveled with the ball, so it's a turnover. So Hazen's going to inbound it. Here comes Lowengrath. Lowengrath gets it out on top to Lemaire. Lemaire stops foul line, jump shot, and it's good. Wow. Jamison Lemaire, a freshman. That was a pretty slick move right there with a nice stop and pop. Dylan Knight. Wow, nice move there by Harrison Frazee. 63-22, matching hoops here. Oh, they go inside to Morgan Mitchard. Reverse layup, couldn't get it to go. Rebound by Frazee. Dylan Knight out on top to Blair Whitney. Drives, guarded by Longrath. Knight drives down the lane. He's going to stop. Oh, feeds it underneath. Nice play underneath as he fed uh, Carter Giron. Giron laid it in. So here comes Lowengrath. 
Gavin Bell, Lohengrath back out to Bell on top. Over there to Lincoln Hill. Jamison, Lemaire stops, fade away. Couldn't get that one to go though. Picked off by Dylan Knight. He stops, hesitates, drives down the lane. Oh, and he traveled. Yeah, and he traveled. In the game for PA now, we have Nick Pierce. So it's Hazen's ball, six minutes left to go in the contest. Hazen clearly on top of this one, 63 to 24. So Lowengrath, hey, people still in their man-to-man -man defense. Lowengrath goes right, gets it over to Jamison Lemaire. Lemaire's gonna drive, and we gotta reach in. <coughs> That foul is on Blair Whitney. That's his second. And that is the team's first in the quarter. So Lowengrath's going to inbound it for Hazen. See what they run for a play. There's a screen by Mitchard. Mitchard's coming around the back door. They get it to him. Back out on top. Whoa, baby. Lincoln Hill, the freshman, gets his first varsity points of his career. Nice play, nice shot. Oh, Harrison Frazee had his pocket picked that time. Here comes Lowengrath. These boys looking to run. Morris, oh, nice reverse move, laid it up, left hand. Came right with a dribble as if he was going right, crossed back over to the left, laid it in with his left hand, and he's only a freshman. So Hazen. Present and future looking good. Shot in there by Mace, no good. He's fighting for the rebound. It goes out of bounds and it's Hazen's ball. So here comes Lowengrath, runs it up court. Gets it over to Bell, hands it off to Lowengrath, stops, goes right, puts it up. It's no good, partially blocked, rebound. Recovered by Morgan Mitchard. He drives in. Oh, they're going to give him the hoop. Morgan Mitchard, and he was fouled on the drive. See who that foul's on. That foul is on Harrison Frazee. It's going to put Morgan Mitchard to the line to shoot one. That's PA's second foul. It's up, back rims it, no good. Oh, freshman almost had to rebound. So here comes PA. Mason in there. Gets it over here to Blair Whitney. Whitney looking, looking, nothing there. Nick Pierce goes all the way, long shot there, and it's good. That shot by Hudson Mace, three-pointer, NBA three-pointer. Here comes Lowengrath, we're under five minutes left to go here in the whole game. Gavin Bell picks up his dribble, gives it to Morgan Mitchard, a little bit behind him so he couldn't take it down the lane. Oh, gets it over. To Lincoln Hill, he drives in, and oh, they're going to call a whistle and a foul. That foul is on Hudson Mace. That's the team's third. Boy, I hope they don't foul too much because still 4.17 left to go in the game. It's a lot of trips to the foul line between now and then if they get two more. Morgan Mitchell to inbound at. Looking, looking, looking way out on top. Gets it to Jamison Lemaire, puts it up, bounce, bounce, no good. Rebound fought for, controlled by PA. Nick Pierce brings it up court himself. Hands it off to Mace. Mace over here to Carter Giron. Back to Frazee. He stops, pops, it's high arcing, in and out, no good. Rebound controlled by Lincoln Hill. Uh, yes, by Lincoln Hill, the freshman, gets it to Lowengrath. Gavin Bell's going to put up a three-pointer. No good. Rolls off the far side of the rim. And here comes Whitney for PA. Crossover. Stop at the foul line. Hands it off to Frazee. Frazee and he puts it in. Harrison Frazee. 69-29. Hazen on top by an even 40. As we wind down the contest here. This is Jamison Lemaire. Oh, loses it. 
Bobbled it and had it picked off by Blair Whitney. Blair Whitney comes down court. Feeds underneath or tried to. But Jamison Lemire picks it off, brings it up court, and he is, oh, face, oh, he tried to go, he tried to go underneath to Lowengrath, but the ball went out of bounds. It's going to be PA's ball, and we got a, I thought we had a timeout. Everybody was walking down to the people's bench. PA forgot they had the ball, I guess. So Whitney's going to inbound it. And Hudson Mace going to walk it up. Gets it over there to Nick Pierce. Nick Pierce comes right, hands it off. Oh, almost saved there by Seamus Burgess, who's in the game. So Lincoln Hill will inbound it to Lowengraf. Quickly up, hands it off, low and grass. Oh, he's trapped in the corner, tries to go right, can't. Gets it back out to Morgan Mitchard. Morgan stops, spins, goes right into the lane, puts it up left hand. Nice move by Morgan Mitchard. Now you see he went to his left hand, even though he's, I don't know if he's right-handed or left-handed actually. But I think he's right-handed. And uh, if he goes with his right hand, it gets blocked. But with his left hand, the defender had to come across the body and hit him. Yeah, he's right-handed, puts it up, and it's no good. Morgan to shoot two. In the game now is uh, Mason Wells, replacing Harrison Frazee. Morgan Mitchard with the second one, that's good. Gives Hazen an even 70 now as we wind down. Two and a half minutes left to go here in the game. Hazen on top, 70 to 29. Mace comes right. Oh, they're going to call that. That foul was on Lincoln Hill. Little hand check. Got to keep your hands off. <clears throat> so Blair Whitney to inbound it for Peoples. Gets it way over to Nick Pierce. Pierce spots up a three-pointer off the glass. Oh, almost good. Rebound by Jamison Morrison. Tried to take off. He lost it. Jer no. Wow, let's see what they call there. It's going to be Hazen's ball as, as Carter Giron threw one way up on top of the backboard. Didn't go. Fought for and went out of bounds off a people's player. So Hazen's got control. Winding down to almost two minutes left here. Oh, they hit Jamison Lemaire. He goes all the way, lays it up, and it's good. Jamison Lemaire, a freshman, looking good in there. Oh, Mason Wells is down for PA, and it looks like it might be an ankle. I hope not, because I hope it's not a sprained ankle. So Coach Todd Yandel is going out to see him. The players go to their respective benches. 2.05 left in the game here. Don't forget to come Friday night. Consolation game at 5.30 between Lamoille and PA. The championship game right after between Hazen and Williamstown. Lamoille seemingly was going to win that game easily in the first half. They were up by 25 at one point, I guess. Ahead at, at halftime by 17, doing anything they want. And I don't know what the Williamstown coach said to his players at halftime, but boy, they came out and they took it to Lamoille. And in crunch time, Lamoille had a couple of chances to put it away and they couldn't and Williamstown kids just never gave up. They ended up winning by one. It was a heck of a game to watch. Oh, he's hobbling, not putting any weight on that leg. So I <coughs> don't know if it's a knee or an ankle. Well, that's too bad. No matter what, no matter who they play for, you don't like to see anybody get hurt. And hopefully he's back shortly. You don't like to see the worst thing that can happen is if a kid gets an injury and he's out for the season or something, you know. Those injuries take time to heal. Hopefully Mason will be all right. So here comes Blair Whitney. Oh, he stops at the half-court line, picks up his dribble. 
So they try to go inside, they do. It's off of, uh, it's off of LaMare, went out of bounds. So let's see, we got uh, Dylan Knight in the game, replacing Mace. Mace who, PA's point guard, didn't have it easy all night long. Did the best he could though. Here goes Dylan Knight, he stops, feeds it underneath to Carter Giron. He goes up and he lays it in. Uh, excuse me, that was Nick, Nick Pierce. Oh, oh, they're gonna call a jump ball. It's gonna be PA's ball. So here comes Blair Whitney. They get it out to Dylan Knight on the left wing. Looking, looking, comes off, tries to come off the screen, gets it over here to Nick Pierce. So they try to go inside to Seamus Burgess, they can't. Oh, Morgan Mitchard caught it out of bounds. <clears throat> so it's gonna be PA's ball. They're gonna retain possession underneath their own basket. Minute 14 left to go. Hazen gonna walk away with this one. Knight to inbound it, looking, looking, goes way deep. Little teardropper there by Nick Pierce, no good. Rebound by Jamison Lemaire. Lemaire feeds it underneath to Gavin Bell, out to Lowengrath, he puts it up, it's no good. Fought for, rebound by Seamus Burgess. Gets it out to Knight. Wow, nice play there by PA as uh, Nick Pierce laid that one in on the fast break. Into the last minute here, Lowengrath leaves it. Whoa, Seamus Burgess on the floor for PA picks up that loose ball. Gets it out to Dylan Knight. PA showing a little life here. So Nick Pierce with that miss. Rebounded inside by Lincoln Hill. Morgan Mitchard going to take it in. Oh boy, they're going to call him for an, oh, a travel. And it could have been an offensive foul. Boy, when you extend, extend that elbow, you're going to get it called a lot of times. But here comes PA, probably with their last possession as Blair walks it up. We're down under 20 seconds left to go in the game. Blair Whitney comes right, stops, goes in the corner. Nick Pierce puts it up. It's off the rim, no good. Rebound by Mitchard. Mitchard slows it down. Oh, boy. Foul there by Seamus Burgess with 2.9 seconds to go. And that is PA's fifth, so that's going to put Morgan to the line to shoot two. And everybody in the crowd is wondering why that foul was made. Morgan Mitchard, sophomore, oh nice, missed everything. <laughs> Morgan, must be he was trying something different. The only, one, the only one not laughing is Aaron Hill. He didn't like to see that. That's a little better, Morgan. So here comes PA. Long Hail Mary shot. It's off the rafters. Half a second left to go. Hazen just has to inbound it. And there it is. And that ends the game. And your score, Hazen 73, PA 33.